And that's what happened now over the last 30 or 40 years, the power of the individual, the power of the individual MP, the power of the individual MLA gets diluted as this power shifts, as this book talks about, shifted from the Parliament of Canada, which is supposed to represent all Canadians, to the cabinet, and then the last place it went, of course, and where it now resides, is with the Prime Minister's office. And we know that in recent times, because look what happened with SNC-Lavalin. Look what happened with SNC. Who, who was trying to change the whole situation, even obstructing justice, telling the Attorney General of Canada, who's supposed to be independent, that what you are doing, we don't want you to do. Even though it was the right thing to do, it was the legal thing to do. Tried to get it changed. Thankfully, she stood up, as well as another lady from Ontario, and said, no, you, we're not, I'm not going to go along with all of this behind the scenes backroom dealing that you and your office was trying to do to change this. And, and these people had to go to court. We're not going to do any out of court settlement for your friends from Quebec. We're not just not going to do it. And she didn't. And of course she lost her job and Ms. Philpott lost her job as well that they had. But that was extreme. But what's really important about that, whilst the Prime Minister lost on that uh, as a temporary measure, when they went to the Parliament of Canada, which is supposed to represent us all, like I said, what happened in the Parliament of Canada? Well, he started to have parliamentary committees, uh, and the committee was going to hear from uh, Ms. Raybo and, and hear from Ms. Philpott, and all of a sudden, when the heat got a little bit too hot, they closed the committee down. That's the nature of our country, that they were able to, it was the tyranny of the majority. John Stuart Mill talked about the, the, the tyranny of the majority in his work back in the uh, 17th, 18th and 19th century, 18th century. So it, it is happening and we know it every day from what's happened on, through this uh, pandemic that we're, we're into right now. We know, we know that this is, is happening every day. There are regulations and stuff made on the spur of the moment by the cabinet or by the prime minister or by a premier not going through the regular processes of the parliament allow for parliamentary committees and for everybody's voice to be heard. 